How's it going everybody and welcome back to another solo slooping video. It's been a little while with the holidays and everything and I would have been back at things sooner but I ended up catching COVID so that's been a whole ordeal. But I'm pretty much back to normal now, I'm good to go, I want to get back into some solo slooping and today I thought we would do something a little bit different than normal. I'm thinking for this run we get a little bit analytical, we start crunching some numbers, doing some figuring, you know? But I actually want to try running the merchant trade routes because that's something I've never actually done. I've always just kind of wrote it off as not worth my time. But a day ago, I hopped on just to check them out and see what they were about. And I think we might actually be able to get a pretty good profit off of them once we hit level five. I'm not exactly sure how long this is gonna take or what kind of return we're gonna see on our time, but I'm gonna try and keep track of all of those stats for you guys so at the end we can see how worth it it is to actually do one of these things and how much gold we're getting per minute of playtime and what the total return is and if it seems like it's worth it compared to just running regular voyages. So let's get the ship stocked up a little bit here. We don't have to go crazy because I'm just gonna be sailing between outposts and delivering goods. I'm not really expecting any fights, or at least I'm hoping we don't run into any people. I'm trying to take this kind of easy today. I just want this to be a very chill, relaxing session. And I think that's kind of the goal of these trade routes, is to provide players with sort of an easier, more relaxing way to play the game that's not completely focused around ship combat or player combat. It's just kind of a nice way to sail around and collect some gold and see what you can make. Okay, the ship is stocked with about as much as I care to do for this kind of a play session. So let's get our skin on. And we do have the battle pass completely finished now. So we have the entire Boreal Aurora set, which is kind of dope. So the outpost we are at right now is Plunder Outpost. And if you guys didn't know this, there is a website called merfolkslullaby.com and you can actually use this website not only to track storms, but you can actually get the active trade routes in the game. The trade routes change, I think, weekly, and basically that means the outposts change what resources they have a surplus of and what ones they are seeking. So this map kind of tells you based on the lines where you need to go from one outpost to another to buy the item at that outpost and sell it at the place that's going to be purchasing it for the highest amount of money. So we're gonna kind of follow what's on the map here in terms of these pathways. And in the end, we'll just kind of see what we come out with as a total profit. And frankly, I don't think anybody's gonna do this the other way where you go to every outpost, buy every item, and then sell every item. That just, it doesn't seem like it's time efficient to do it that way. And so if we go to the merchant, we browse commodities, we should see a lot of ungraded tea here because that's what they have a surplus of. So we're just gonna buy every single item that this Merchant Alliance representative has. And I think we just spent about 3,000 gold picking up all of these items, so I'm gonna keep track of that throughout the entire voyage so we can figure out exactly how much cost went into this. And I'll make sure to have a timer going once we start picking up these items here so we know about how much time this entire run took us. Okay, so we got all the items now, so we just need to start heading over to Galleon's Grave. Alright guys, I want to hear in the comments, what do you think an entire run like this is going to net us? I want to say right around 200k. I think that's about what a full run is going to get us here. I might be wrong, but I think once we start hitting Emissary level 4 and 5 and we're selling these items, I'll bet we're going to get a lot more gold than I originally expected. <laughs> So here we're going to be selling all of our ungraded tea that we have right now because this is the item that this outpost is seeking. And we're going to keep all of these other items on our ship so we can sell them at the appropriate outposts later as we go. So let's get these sold first before we buy the next set of items here. And we should get emissary levels as we sell these items too. So after selling all of those at the very first outpost, it looks like we're just a little over two and a quarter on the emissary level, which isn't too bad. So now we have to browse resources and commodities and pick up all the rest of these items here. So you can see by the items listed here that this outpost has crates of broken stone in surplus. So that's going to be what we're going to be selling at the next outpost. So we're going to go wherever broken stone is being sought after. 
Okay, so broken stone is going to be the next one, so I'll set that closest to the bow here. I'll try to put the very tip of my ship over the dock every time, just so I can drop the crates right off of it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, guys, you can actually just go to any of the Merchant Alliance spots at one of the outposts, and you can read this book right here and pick the location that you're in, and it will tell you what outposts in that location are seeking and what they have a surplus of. So we are at Galleon's Grave right now. If we look at the purple line that's coming from it, that's for Broken Stone. It's being sought after at Golden Sands Outpost over here. So we're heading to Golden Sands next in the west. There is a rowboat here. Kind of interesting. Something out in the water too. But let's get our items sold first before we go check that out. Or actually, you know what? Let's go check that out really quick because I don't want that to sink before I get the chance to see what it is. Oh, an ammo chest. I would take the rowboat, but we don't really need it this time since we're not taking our loot up into the outposts anywhere. So here, I believe we are selling our broken stone, right? Is that what we have the most of? Yes. So we're going to be selling all of our broken stone here and we're going to be picking up more items. And I want to do this kind of quickly here because there are a lot of player ships on this side of the map. I saw probably three of them on my way over. Okay, so it's looking like about a thousand per crate right now. Oh wow, you can see the emissary boost from two to three is actually pretty big. That's giving us quite a bit more gold now. Let's pick up some more crates here. I think that's the last crate. Let's double check. Yes, we're good there. So next spot should be selling these unrefined spices. And it looks like that's going to be Daggertooth. So there's actually a sloop over here at Daggertooth already. I'm pretty sure it's a fresh spawn. I mean, I could be nice and approach cautiously and try to sell my items, but I'm already part way through this. I don't want to risk losing anything, so I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to sink them. But at least we're doing it to them early on, and they don't really have any items yet, so I'm not going to feel all that bad about it. Okay, well, that sloop is sunk, so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm pretty sure the person just logged after they saw their ship was sunk, so we should just be able to sell right here. Okay, so here we are selling our unrefined spices. Alright, let's see what we've got here at this outpost. They have a surplus of raw sugar, so that's what the next outpost is going to be buying. Alright, that's every item here. Next outpost from here is Moro's Peak, so we're heading southeast, and this is going to be one of the longer trips of this entire voyage. We're here! Hopefully Moro's Peak is actually cooperative and doesn't start freaking blowing up on us while we're trying to unload. Okay, so we are selling our raw sugar here. Ooh, we're not getting that much on the emissary levels right now from selling each crate. I'm not sure we're gonna hit level five from this. Okay, wait, maybe we are. I might have spoke too soon. All right, it looks like Emissary level 4 is about 1800 per crate now, so that's pretty good. Now we're talking some decent coin here. Let's pick up everything they've got here now. Looks like unclassified gemstones is what they have a surplus of. And judging by the price of the items I'm picking up here, the gemstones are one of the most expensive items I've picked up so far when there's a surplus, so hopefully that means we're going to get a lot of gold for selling them. That looks like it's everything here. So now to go to the exact opposite corner of the map again. Oh wait guys, I lied. I didn't check the map close enough. I figured from how smooth the curve was, we were going all the way to the opposite end. We're actually going to Ancient Spire, which is very close. Wow, is it a good thing I double checked the map.
Okay, time to get rid of these unclassified gemstones. And like I said, these were one of the more expensive items I bought on Surplus, so hopefully they're going to go for a little bit more than the other items I've sold so far. Oh yeah, 2600 per crate. Let's go. We are now Max Emissary. We just sold the last crate for, wow, 3300 Let's hope that bodes well for the rest of the commodities we have to sell still. And I'm going to buy all of these really quickly because there was a ship nearby. It looked like it might be sailing towards me. And two of the ships on the server right now have the skull and crossbones flag up. So they're looking to mess around and I am not right now. Okay, it looks like that guy might be stopping. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's load up what we can and we'll get going right after if he starts coming in. That is every item here. Now to actually go to the opposite side of the map. Oh, we got two gems chilling right here too. I think we have to take those, right guys? Or actually, it's just one gem, just a blue gem, so nothing crazy. But still, we might as well take it if it's literally hand-delivered to the outpost for us. So let's grab that really quick. And I won't count this gem in the final total just so we have an exact amount of what we're looking at for an entire merchant's trade route run. But I'm still going to sell it. So here we are getting rid of our unsorted silks. Now I think, if I've been keeping track of everything correctly, we're just a little over two hours into this voyage and we have made about 130k and after we purchase everything from this merchant we are actually going to the last outpost we're going to be back at plunder and selling everything there we're going to have a few extra crates on our hands once we get there just because of how running this circuit works with buying the items at each outpost but once we get to plunder we're just going to sell everything we have on our ship and call it a voyage and then we'll tally up exactly what we're looking at so I can actually just kind of throw these items on my ship now because every single one of these is getting sold at the last outpost. That is every last item. Now down to plunder we go and we're done. Some slight damage, but no big deal. Now to just vote down the emissary, and I will be counting that in the final total because that's something you should be able to get every time. Now it looks like this session took us about two and a half hours total, and without the gem value, I'm thinking we're pretty close to 175k. So we're talking about 1100 or 1200 gold per minute, I think which actually isn't that bad of a value. It seems like the real kind of value comes from a run like this when you're already Emissary Grade 5, that way you're going to be making a ton more at each outpost stop. I'm still pretty sure I can do better than that amount with the other kinds of voyages in the game, but still if you're looking for like a kind of relaxed play session where it's not very high octane and you just kind of want to sail around and earn some gold in the process, this is probably the best way to do that. With that being said, I think this is where our adventure ends for today. Make sure to subscribe for even more solo slooping content, and I hope you enjoyed.